uh, today, gosh, I don't know what today is. Today is Thursday, May 14th. Um, and so today we're doing uh, cedar essential oil. So we're gonna be making it. And I got it uh, for free from an arborist who was cutting down a tree and wanted to get rid of it. So that's how I get most of my stuff. Um, but yeah, I just happened to be driving by after visiting my pastor. And I just asked, hey, what are you doing with it? Oh, I got paid to get rid of it. Well, give me as much as you can. So he did, he's happy. So here it is, I'll take a look. Follow me, I'll show you. Um, I'll show right here. Here's, here's just a bunch of it, right? Cedar. So um, I'm gonna load it into the still now. <coughs> if I can. Without spilling too much. Okay, that's pretty good. I probably push it down some, but so, anyways, um, yeah, I'll get this going, and then um, I want to talk about as soon as we get collecting oil. Um, in the later parts of the video, I will share what the chemical breakdown is of cedar oil, why it's good for um, your skin, why is it good for your hairs, um, some uses it might have because of the chemicals in it, um, some things to be aware of, um, uh, like deterrents from using it. So um, anyways, uh, be on the lookout. So just we'll be back and uh, when we're collecting oil. Hey everyone. It's Matt, we're back. Um, so anyways, I, I thought I'd show you guys, well, two things. One, um, we're doing, um, I don't know how, how wide an angle this lens is, but um, so here's some oil I collected just on a time test. Um, nice and clear. It smells really nice, really good smell. Uh, like balsamic and uh, woodsy notes, obviously. But what I wanted to talk about got it um, what I wanted to talk about is the chemical makeup of, of cedar oil and so uh, the three major components and their benefits so you got the first two are very similar uh, alpha and beta cedrine which is an alkene uh, so um, it's got double bonds um, and the only difference is uh, on alpha and beta is where uh, that double bond is placed uh, research has gone into uh, uh, alpha and beta cedrine. They um, anti uh, in infection, um, anti stringent. Uh, so it's good for like skincare, acne, um, hair products. That's why they're in so many hair products. Um, and also, as an insect repellent, which is funny, um, and specifically mosquitoes, the research journal I read. But I also want to tell you that what's funny is, is that um, the alcohol, the third major component is um, cedarol, and cedarol um, in a research journal that I was reading is an attractant for pregnant female mosquitoes. Now, what they were saying, um, is that the benefits could be though it could be used to make traps for mosquitoes in the future using uh cedrol and so but because so i don't know maybe the alpha and beta um cedrine um is, is such a deterrent that mosquitoes won't be uh attracted to you even even with uh, the cedar all in it I, I don't know but but uh, that would be something to find out is if uh, those two components cancel each other out or not especially with insect repellents but I know that most insect uh, naturally made insect uh, deterrents do have cedar in it also you know some clove and some other stuff but um, Anyways, I'll show you guys real close. Um, I, I've been working in the shop again. I got sawdust all over my arm, but um, hopefully you guys can see the essential oil here. J 
just coming in and so what's happening is is we got water um, just below the serial numbers on that that's a heating band which you can just get at Harbor Freight or whatever um, and so there's there's a, a stainless steel washing drum in there that holds um, holds some of the cedar leaves and boughs and then more cedar on top of that and basically the water's boiled it passes through the ports uh, in the stainless steel drum and goes through the biomaterial uh, and the components are carried across in a vapor phase um, here this is double jacketed and so water is running through the outside this pipe goes all the way through comes out here and so the vapor is cooled by heat exchange here and turned back into a liquid which it comes out and all this is is a, um, a blue blue bot is what they're called uh, you can get them on Amazon or um, Woodcraft in Spokane has some um, so basically um, the oil pushes and sits on top of the water and pushes the water level down as it fills up and it and then because I drilled this port here it'll never get above this line and then uh, the water comes up and out so yeah so anyways guys we're gonna bottle I'm gonna run through the rest of this we're gonna bottle um, as much as we can we're gonna turn it into shave lather soaps and of course the beard oils so and essential oils for anything that's left over so be on the lookout uh, for Spokane locally made Spokane cedar oil all right guys uh, thanks a bunch and uh, again thanks for the arborist who donated these in case he's watching if you like this video please like and subscribe uh, I put a lot of work and energy into making these videos and so I just hope you guys enjoy them all right hey everyone so it's Matt um, a couple days after that I've filmed the first video but um, I want to let you guys know that we we bottled some of what I've already collected um, and I know I told you I'd show you what we got so um, that's what I'm gonna do so we have eight 15 15 mil bottles so that's four ounces there and then we also have like eight to ten ten mil bottle like roller bottles uh, right now so I have probably four runs left of the cedar oil and I'm getting around two and a half to four um, ounces per run so here's this is two runs right here and I'll show you if see if I can see it um, nice and clear I've let it settle so you can see all the debris and stuff settles out and that's what I actually filter um, so this will go through um, this will go through like a cheesecloth or whatever but um, anyways really nice clear oil um, and that's, that's, like I said, that's two runs. So we have probably four runs left. And so you can kind of multiply this by two and that's what we'll have left for the entirety of our cedar oil. So if you like this video, uh, like and subscribe and, uh, thanks for supporting us.